birds as they're flying over the city, we can visualise them using the weather radar. So it's really cool pictures. Data gathered during weather forecasting is helping to reveal a hidden world of nighttime migration. So what we're seeing here on the screen is almost like a bloom of activity full of our birds, our insects, which are taking off into the night sky as the sun sets. The blue specks on this screen represent creatures in the sky over Brisbane. But it looks like swarming, like schooling fish. Well, that's exactly what's happening. Instead of schooling fish, we've got things that are schooling in the sky around the weather. OK, so I've got four billion questions about this because, yes. I mean, I feel like, especially in recent years, the mm. bombers made radar sort of imagery available to all of us. We look at it on our smartphones all the time. Mm. But what actually is radar? So well, weather radar works by sending out a pulse of energy and then it listens for anything which might have scattered off of it. So essentially like the echo. So as meteorologists, we're more interested in the weather, raindrops, hail, things like that. But it also scatters off everything that's out there, including birds, insects and things like that. But while the data can reveal there's a hive of activity in the night sky, it can't tell us everything. We get that big picture, if you like. What we can't tell from this is exactly what these species are. You know, what kinds of birds are they? What combinations of uh, different kinds of species are moving over at certain times? So, to get a more detailed insight into the bird species flying overhead, the team start by listening out for them. That's it. So what sound are you trying to record? Are we talking like flappy wing beats? What? Sometimes. Sometimes we do hear the wing beats no of birds flying over. But mostly what it, we're listening for is calls of birds. So as the birds are migrating, they're coming from the north and flying over, they'll be making calls as they go. And it's those calls that we can pick up with this microphone. It's, it's not the science that I expected in a backyard, to be honest, but I'm very glad you're doing it. It's fascinating. I'm absolutely <laughs> addicted to it. <laughs> Richard's nighttime recordings have revealed unusual species moving across central Brisbane. Here we've got a sacred kingfisher that's flown over at that point, so they're migratory. Right, so that chip, 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 chip. That's right. And those birds, they don't live around here. I never see them around here during the day. That's, that's migrating through. It is sort of cool, this one, isn't it? It's like it is, is opening up a whole new section of behaviour that we basically didn't know anything about. It's completely blown me away. They're flying over at night. Yeah. They're using this place without us even realising it. Richard has so far discovered eight species flying over at night that he has never observed during the day. There's stuff going on. But not all birds call out as they fly by. So, for the first time tonight, the team are trialling a new tool. What am I looking at? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Well, <laughs> this is thermal imagery. Um, it's used, we use it for a lot of wildlife management and finding animals at night and looking at their movements. This high-tech thermal camera can detect the body heat of animals up to one kilometre away. Birds are an interesting one because they're covered in feathers. We've tested this already. We've had a little test run and the birds definitely do show up at okay. night. Um, they still obviously give off enough heat for the thermal gear to work. Um, and I can't wait. I think we're going to see a few interesting things tonight. Identifying a fast-moving bird in the dark is like looking for a needle in a haystack. Well, right, guys. How'd we go? I think we've got birds. No. I think we've got success. So, Ian, you know, I'll probably defer to your expertise here, but um, if we look at some of the imagery that we've captured here, you can oh, see the wow. birds flying along at night. So we, both get the, we both get the bird a squint on there. <laughs> <laughs> Their warm bodies show up in precise detail, allowing the team to identify different species. 
Oh. Oh, that's super close. So that you see the long tail on that, that's really characteristic. That looks like a channel bill cuckoo. And we did hear a couple, I think, on the recording earlier. And the way that bird is moving very directionally from north to south, it's pretty high up. Yep. I think that's probably migrating through. Uh, so that's extremely exciting. How cool to see that. Using the combination of radar, sound and thermal cameras to study the birds in flight will aid us in better understanding how they live and travel amongst us so we can help birds better survive an ever-changing world. It's pretty incredible. Where do you guys see this sort of collaboration heading? Really, the next big step here is to, is to go large with this, to get across the continent of Australia um, mm. and to try and describe those migration patterns, you know, really for the first time um, and understand how birds migrate mm -hmm. around Australia because it's, very, it's not understood well at all at the moment. And we have over 60 radars across Australia too. Right. So lots on the east coast but plenty through the central Australia as well and over to the west. And we have a long archive for many of these radars, more than 10 years for many of them. So we can go back and perform this analysis during periods where it's been drier, periods it's been wetter, and look at those aspects as well. That's pretty amazing.